Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a modern hotel. In this part of the tutorial, we will focus on the entire outside building of the hotel. In part two, we will focus on the interior, all of the rooms, the lobby, the kitchen, the bar, all of that fun stuff. Just to make this 100% clear, this will be split into two different videos. Once you have finished part one, check the description below for part two. Without any further ado, let's get started. This is the amount of space required to make your build. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make the build. Begin by placing a smooth quartz block on the ground. Leave a gap of two going right and then place another smooth quartz. Leave a gap of two going right and then place a smooth quartz. Leave a gap of two extending backwards and then place a smooth quartz and an additional one behind it. Then extend that block to the right using a grey concrete, blue glass pane, leave a gap of one, place a blue glass pane, grey concrete, smooth quartz, extend it forwards, leave a gap of two extending forwards, one, two, then place a smooth quartz, Extending right, leave a gap of two, and then place a smooth quartz. Leave a gap of two, place a smooth quartz. Extending towards the back of the build, leave a gap of two, place a smooth quartz. Gap of two, smooth quartz. Then extend inwards by three using smooth quartz. One, two, three. Then extend towards the back of the build and place five grey concrete, one, two, three, four, five. Place a smooth quartz block on the end, then leave a gap of two going right of the smooth quartz and place a smooth quartz block. Extending towards the back of the build, leave a gap of two and place a smooth quartz. Another gap of two, place a smooth quartz. Then along the back of the build, leave a gap of two, extending right, place a smooth quartz, leave a gap of two, place a smooth quartz, then extending inwards, we want to leave a gap of two, place a smooth quartz, then extending across the back of the build again, place a row of five grey concrete extending from the smooth quartz, one, two, three, four, five, place a smooth quartz block on the end, and then in front of this, leave a gap of two, place a smooth quartz. Extending right, leave a gap of two, smooth quartz. Gap of two, smooth quartz. Extending forwards, leave a gap of two, smooth quartz. Gap of two, smooth quartz. Extend inwards by placing three smooth quartz. One, two, three. Then, extending forwards towards the front of the build, place five grey concrete, one, two, three, four, five. Place a smooth quartz block on the end and extend it towards you by three, one, two, three. Then, leaving a gap of two, extending towards the front of the build once more, place then a smooth quartz block. Once you have completed that, ladies and gentlemen, you will be left with this rather intricate looking floor plan. With the floor plan complete, we can now dig in between all of the pairs of smooth quartz that we have around the edge of the build, not in between the grey concrete areas at the front or anywhere else that we may find them, but specifically in between the outer smooth quartz, dig in between them and place sea lanterns. If you don't like sea lanterns, I would recommend either smooth quartz in the ground as well, or a contrast block like the grey concrete. Once that has been complete, you will be left with this. Next, we want to go all the way around the build and extend every smooth quartz block upwards by three. One, two, three, 
just like that, all the way around. Like this, we can now go all the way around the build and join all of the rows of smooth quartz together. The only places that I wouldn't do this is on the long part, so on the sides of the build like this, on the front, essentially the middle part of each one of the four sides of the build. With that complete, we can now extend the grey concrete up as well. So on the front of the build, we want to extend the two single rows of grey concrete that we have up as high as the surrounding quartz. We can then join them together at the top like this. And on the front specifically, we can extend the glass pane up each by two as well. And we can suspend an end rod in front of the centre blocks. This is a push-pull door. As we extend around to the sides of the build, we can simply extend the grey concrete up as high as the smooth quartz as well. On none of the sides do we really have windows placed into the grey concrete. It's not that you can't, it's just a personal choice of mine. The end result will look like this. Next, we go all the way around the build and we either fill in the windows with blue stained glass or blue stained glass paint. It's completely up to you which you prefer. I prefer a more flat look, so I'm using the blue glass. Perfect. At the front entrance specifically, we will place light grey terracotta in front of the left and right side of these doors. Then stack a couple of oak leaves on top of the terracotta. Then, extending from each one of these two inward corners of the smooth quartz, we can place two chains with red carpet on top of the chains, like this. Above the door, we are going to place a row of smooth quartz slabs. This is directly on top of each one of the plants. We then want to extend these slabs forwards until they overhang the front of the hotel by one row. We can then extend them left and right like this, and then if you like, you can even extend them an additional row like so. I really like how this looks. Next, we are going to dig out the entire grid. This is the grid that exists on the outside of the hotel and replace all of the grass using smooth stone. We're not going to touch the inside of the hotel yet. That will be in the next part of the tutorial. Was my helmet missing this entire time? 
With the ground level of the entire hotel prepared, we can work on the rest of the floors. Just to let you know, this is the part of the video where we are going to make an entire floor from start to finish, and the floors are repeatable, so we can make this as many times as we like, stack them on top of each other, and this is how we will achieve the height of the hotel. So from now until the end of this floor, might be a part of the video that you may need to watch a few times over, possibly until you get the hang of it. Anyway, to start the new floor, all we have to do is extend all of the vertical rows of smooth quartz that we have on the previous level and extend them each upwards by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. So we simply extend each one of the corner points of the smooth quartz until they are four rows high. like this. Next, we are going to join all of the rows of smooth quartz together at the top, just as we did on the ground level. The places that we won't do this are on the middles of each one of these sides. In the middle space on the left and right side of the hotel, there are window frames. We want to fill these in using smooth quartz. All of the other window frames, however, can be filled in using your blue glass, whether that's the pane or solid block variant. Like this. Next, we want to extend each one of the four grey concrete areas upwards as well. The front is different from the other three sides. On the front, we extend the left and right sides of the grey concrete upwards to equal the height of the smooth quartz surrounding it. We join it together at the top like this, and then fill the centre of it in using glass. Whereas, on the three remaining sides, we simply fill the entire area of grey concrete in using grey concrete. On the three remaining sides, however, we simply fill the entire area in between using grey concrete. Like that. Last but not least, on the front of the hotel specifically, we place a row of smooth quartz slab above the window 
and then extend it an additional row forwards like this. So we get an ever so slightly similar effect to what we have down below, but not quite the same. Now, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that is all there is to it in making an individual floor. So we can repeat that process as many times as we like until we reach the desired height of our hotel. Now, this is easy for me because I have world edit, but if you don't, you will have to build each one of your floors by hand. I'm sorry if you guys have to make them by hand, but hopefully that won't cause you too much trouble. Regardless of how it's achieved, at a certain point in time, you will have made enough floors of your hotel that you're satisfied with it. And at that point, we are going to fill the entire top of the hotel in using smooth quartz. Another detail that you may want to add to let people know that this is a hotel at just a glance is a sign. There is also an optional extra that you may want to add to this hotel if you do want to let people know at a glance what this build is. And that is a series of banners literally spelling out hotel for the front of the building. So if we throw down loom, open it up, place a white banner in there, the first letter that we want to make is H. So that is a vertical row of black on the left side of the banner, on the right, and then a horizontal straight through the middle. The next letter will be O, so that's a vertical row of black on the left, right, horizontal on the top and the bottom. The next letter would be T, so that's a horizontal row of black along the top, vertical straight through the middle. Next will be E, so that's a horizontal row of black on the top, the bottom, the middle, and then a vertical row on the left side. Last but not least is L, so a vertical row of black on the left side and a horizontal along the bottom will give us hotel. And we can hang this I would recommend from this floor here, not the bottom floor, but the next floor, H-O-T-E-L. It actually fits perfectly in between the two sides, and I think that it just helps to let people know what this build is. Now, there is an additional part of the build that you can make that you might like. I'm personally very much on the fence about it because I think it kind of turns the hotel into something that looks more like a generic skyscraper, but I'll let you guys be the judge. Begin on the front of your hotel and take the left and right sides of this row of grey concrete here and extend those sides upwards by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Join them together in the middle and extend them out on the left and right sides by four. One, two, three, four, and then join them down, and on this side as well, one, two, three, four, and then join down. We can then take the tops of these rows and extend back and join down to the middle parts of the hotel where we have the grey concrete. Simultaneously, you can extend the grey concrete upwards on the middle sides of the hotel to equal the height of the grey concrete that we have got on the front of the hotel, so it all just joins together rather naturally, like this. On the back, we can then take the tops of the rows of grey concrete and extend them back one, two, three, four, and then join down, and we can do this on both sides, one, two, three, four, and then join down, and then we can extend the middle part of this upwards, similar to what we did on these sides, so that equals the height of the grey concrete besides it, and then just join it all together on the top, like this. What we can then do is extend each one of the four corners of this shape up by four rows, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. We want to do this on each one of the four sides. And once we have done that, we can take the middle rows 
and extend those up so that they are as high as the rows on the corners. So we'll start by doing it on the left, right and back sides because these are the blank sides. And then when it comes to the front, we simply just want to extend the vertical rows of grey concrete upwards and then join them all together at the top horizontally to form a solid shape. Like that. We then want to fill all of the windows in using blue glass block and we'll also fill the top of the shape in using grey concrete. Next, we want to come to any one of the four corners at the top of the hotel, highlight the corner and extend inwards diagonally one, two, three, four times. Place a smooth quartz. Extend that smooth quartz up by three, one, two, three. Then extend that block to the right by four, one, two, three, four. And then back four, one, two, three, four. Across four, one, two, three, four and then all the way back to where you started. Join each one of the corners down to the floor of the hotel. Fill the top of it in using smooth quartz and the sides of it in using blue glass. Once you've done that, we want to stick a smooth quartz block on top of the center block at the top of this particular part of the hotel with a diorite wall on top of it, two end rods stacked on top of each other with then a smooth quartz slab on top of the end rods. The end result should look like this. Now, I really am on the fence about this because I don't know whether this now turns a build into something that looks too much like a skyscraper or an office building. It would be possible just to keep this gray concrete part at the top and just completely never make the part above it, but I'll leave all of that up to you. And that is this part of the tutorial complete. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please do remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you do want to make the interior of the hotel, there will be a completely separate video that you will be able to find in the description below. It will be clearly labeled part two. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.